Hi, I wanted to show you a quick and easy way to do a A-B test just using Google Analytics. Uh, there are going to be three stages to any A-B test, which will be definition, implementation, and measurement, and we'll go through those steps very quickly. So we're using Google Analytics, so in order to, to define the experiment, the content experiment, the A-B test, we need to measure user behavior. So we will find this option in Google Analytics under the behavior section. So we just go open our Google Analytics, go to the behavior section, open it up. Under that heading you'll find experiments. Just click that. When you get to that section you'll have an in window that allows you to create an experiment. We will have a couple form fields, which will be defining the name of the experiment, which would maybe we're testing a true A-B test, which will only be one variable. Maybe it could be button color. So I'm going to use button color as the name of my test. I'm going to define my metric or success or KPI. Since I want to see which button has the highest click-through rate that leads to another page, I'm going to use the metric of page view. Of course you can define any metric you want be an event on the site and you can set up an event uh, using your analytics account also. Now a, a very important section here is the percentage of traffic that you're going to use for your experiment at, at default is set to 100%. If this is a very um, good page that brings you a lot of revenue you may want to lower that down to a lower percentage something like 25 or 10 percent. You have an option for email notifications, but what I want to do is look at your advanced options. And advanced options as a true A-B test, you, you want to distribute that traffic evenly across all variations. We can set the duration and then we want to set the confidence level. Of course the confidence level can be as high as you want. And by default it's set at 95%. I think that's enough to be a definitive answer in terms of which is the preferred content that the user wants. After we set those variables, we go to next step. Now because we are testing two different pages of content essentially, so that button needs to be changed on two different pages, which means you need two different URLs. The easiest way to do this is duplicate the page that you want to test and change that one variable for your A-B test. So let's take a look here. We can put in, maybe I'm testing this on my home page. So I will put the URL in and you should see that pop up, load in the preview window. And then I will use an alternate URL with the one change variable and that's going to be my variation page so you can see there's two different pages there in terms of the way they set up of course we can add another variation in terms of if we want to look at three different variables it gets a little bit more complicated after that we hit the next step button I just want to bring something to your attention. We can see all the different uh, variables that we said in terms of what the experiment is going to be in terms of our A-B test. Now, in order for this to work, you need to insert code on each page. This allows uh, analytics to serve the content evenly to the users that hit your site. So we're going to hit manually insert code. We're going to get a snippet of code. We're going to add this to each of the page, the original page and the variation page. Once we do that, we'll be able to set our experiment. So I will add this code to the pages and then hit next step. You're allowed to put some notations in terms of what you're testing and just start your experiment. Experiment launch. Now this is not going to show because we don't actually have any code on the site, but you can see the status here is running. And this is easy as that. This is a quick and simple way for you to do your AD testing. Please hit the subscribe button below if you like what you hear. Thank you very much for your attention.